Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today, today we are doing a page layout. It is very simple and anybody can do this. And uh, we are making today a side, a side tuck made with two flower designs. Very easy so that you can tuck papers behind it. It holds well and uh, it's just a fun way to decorate a page. So let me give you a show how to do this. All right, so let me just put this over yonder. Okay. Oh, let me show you a little closer. Okay, so this is it. Very simple. As you can see, we are playing with circles today and we're just having some circle fun. Hi, Holly. And what I'm using today is uh, two circle punches. Okay, one is a bigger circle punch. And if you don't have this, you can uh, just use something to in that in your house that you might have that's about that you know diameter, maybe the cap of a shaving cream lid or something like that, uh, and just draw around. It's about a two inch wide circle, and then also a one inch wide uh, circle punch. So those are the two things, and let's see what we do. Okay, so I am gonna just use a random piece of scrapbook paper, which I have a ton of, which I really need to use up. So that's partially why this is happening. So I'm going to punch five circles twice. That will give me enough for two flowers. One, two, three, four. Whoop, got to turn the corner. Five, six, so, I, so 10 total. Come on out, come on out. Oh, one in there. There we go. Okay, we've got six, seven, eight. Oh, yep, that was a whole one. Dropped one on the floor. Nine, ten. That's the good measure one, the one that's on the floor. Okay, so we have six, or we have ten circles. Retrieving floor circle. Have it back. Okay. Hi, Holly. Say hi to the nice people, Holly. Why don't you sing them your song? You were singing so nice this morning. Okay, so and what I did was I just uh, separated them into <clears throat> two little piles of five each and then I'm going to punch out something for inner circles and um, actually do I have some here I might as well just use these I have these two and they're already present so I'm just going to go ahead and use those but basically I just uh, used my whoop, my one inch circle punch and whoop, pop that out pop two of those out just from some uh, scrapbook paper I have from my my glorious scrap box there and now I'm gonna do a little ink in so let's do this okay so let me feel what we're feeling here I'm thinking I'm thinking green green around the outside let's try this okay this is peeled paint distress ink all right let's see how this shows up do, 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 do. not very well but it's giving me a little bit of a yep I've got the green one and maybe it's it's dark or something I don't know not showing up that great, but it does give me a little bit of emphasis. Do I want more emphasis than that? Maybe. Um, let me try a different color. Um, try the blue. Oh, that's, that's bold. All right, we'll try the blue. Well, that, that does show up a little bit more. And since we're doing flowers, I thought I might have some fun and um, put some more color on here. You know, gee, it's a flower after all. Let's get some. Let's get some color going, right? Yeah. Today is all about color and fun and gluing and uh, creating a journal page. So this is going to be a journal page layout. So this, if I put it in the right section, it should be in the page layout playlist. And if you don't know how, where to find the playlist, number one, if you go to my channel by clicking either my on my little mug, which is my face, uh, below my video or the, my channel name, the paper outpost below my video, it will take you to the main channel page. And then you have a choice. If you're on the home, you can pick um, playlists. And, uh, or if you scroll down, you can, I think you can see playlists and stuff too. I think I'm gonna make these all the same because they're gonna go on the same page. And um, uh, then you have a choice. You can click either on the first one, like pick, click on the picture there, and you'll, you'll automatically start the playlist playing. But if you want to see what all your options are in the playlist, you click on, full list of episodes or something like that. It's right below the picture or whatever it is. You'll see it. It's like a, there's it's words and, and you have a choice to click on that. And that way it won't auto play. It'll just show you the list of all the videos in that playlist. So say if you're looking for a specific one, you can just go target it and find it and da da da. Okay, there. And maybe we'll 
just go around you a little blue. Okay. And also, if you're looking to find stuff, um, what's on the other side of that? Oh, I kind of like that better. Um, also, look out the little look for the magnifying glass on my channel homepage. Same place. You go, click on my mug or the words the paper outpost, and that'll take you to my channel homepage. And then look at the top bar, like below the video or below the picture, whatever it is, and you'll see a magnifying glass. And if you click on that magnifying glass, then you can. It's a search bar. It becomes a search field. Then you can type in a word like dried flowers or or <clears throat> burrito or something like that. And it'll automatically pull up any videos with those words in it. So if you're looking for something you can't remember the kooky name I gave it or, or something like that, but you kind of sort of remember something about it, click in there and that's an easy way to find a lost video. Um, okay, so, all right. So we have our, our basically we're, we're pretty much done. The, the sweat work is over. So let us go in here somewhere else and we will create something of beautifulness. See, let's go in the back now. Okay. Yeah, let's try here. Is that the first thing? Hang on. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just keep myself organized here. <laughs> okay, you know, I run a I, I run a muck occasionally. <laughs> okay, let me back out a little bit. So you can see. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to lay our basement down. Let me just get a clip. So these don't all run away. And you can try laying out the design first if you want, but since we know these are going to be side tucks, I need to move the clip. Um, we're going to put them here on the, the edge of the page. So that's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct my flowers first. And there's many ways to do this, um, but I'm just going to do it this way. Okay. All right. So put a little, this is whoop -a -doo, art glitter glue, clear white glue, really good stuff. Um, good paper to paper glue dries fast but you do get a few seconds to rethink things in case you know change of heart for any reason um, but it does grab when it grabs you're pretty much there okay so let's see how we did okay not bad not bad base of a flower okay and then we're gonna grab one of these guys put them down there and we have our basic flower shape now I'm going to just reinforce them in the back just a little. Nothing major. Very easy to do. Take your two inch circle punch and take some page you don't really care about. Like I have this page. I mean, I like this page, but I'm not like in love with it right at the moment. It's in my scrap pile. So I punched. I have two extra circles. And the, where, where am I in there? Yep. These are my back circles. So I'm going to flip this puppy over. And I'm going to use this as a reinforcement. Can you see? Yeah. In the back. And that's going to hold everybody together. I don't have to worry about anybody, you know, not playing by the rules. Everybody's got to conform. <laughs> All right, there's one. See that pops nicely against there. I think that's pretty. Okay, so let's make another one. That was pretty easy, right? And this is going to give you a whole journal page designed. And you can be off to your next page because what is a journal? A journal is a big collection of many art canvases. Now, or it can be a writing journal where it's just used for uh, written word um, thoughts and expressions and poems and quotes and things like that. Or it can be a combination of both, both. Or it can be neither of the above and you completely go off on a different direction and that's perfectly fine too. All right, so this we have this flower. I'm trying to sort of make it look like the other flower, but no two flowers are the same you know, out there in the universe. So, hey, my flowers look different. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we will put the front one on. Very easy to do here. Like romper room, romper room uh, level here. <laughs> I love romper room, by the way. Flipping it over, putting my basement uh, piece on just to glue everybody together and, and say we're nice and strong and happy and nobody's going to run a, run amok. Okay. So now we are going to put these in place. Aren't they cute on there? They're just, just cutie boos. Okay, I like, you can put them right on, but I think I'm going to have like a little bit of a petal stick over the top just for appeal. Maybe one here and maybe two here to make it look a little different. And uh, they will protrude. So maybe you want to decorate the back a bit, maybe color it up or stencil it or do something. I'll just do a little bit of that. How about that? What was it, this one? 
Okay, there's always some residual on the ink dauber, so you get in there and you just, you know, ink it up a little bit. Okay, and you can always ink it up from the back too. Okay, so we assess how much we're going to hang over, and then we're going to decide where we're going to put our glue line. So I'm going to use my finger, can you see me? Yeah, as the guide, my glue line is going to go here. Oop, there's glue there. How'd that happen? Who put that there? All right, there we go. Just a little hangover. And this one, okay, I guess it was here. And I have to check that first one. I can't really remember exactly where I put the pink on the back. Well, we'll see how I did. If I didn't do very well, I'll just pink it up again. Okay, and there. Okay, and flipping. Oh, I didn't do too bad. Okay, and I can even decorate this more if I want. I can put words there. I can, I can maybe um, put some brown on it just for, you know, contrast. That kind of stuff people person's wondering like oh what's that is that a page tab what is that oh my gosh it's a side double side flower tuck oh wow uh, that's fancy pam yep yep that's fancy what's this oh, oh i got a butterfly oh wouldn't that be great that would be so great okay so let's put the butterfly in the middle of the flower you always gotta check upside down to make sure it's going the right way because sometimes the little thing on top doesn't always match what you're seeing. Okay, so there is a butterfly in the center of that one. I'll put a butterfly there too. Okay, so we have two butterflies. There we go, so wasn't that easy? Yeah, so now, you know, you can just grab, uh, you know, some papers or whatever you have that you wanted to tuck in there and tuck them in there and they'll stay. And of course you have to use the papers that are the right size or fold them, but a nice little side double tuck. How fun is that, right? Yes. Okay, so let's carry on with the massive amounts of fun we're having today. <laughs> this is such easy stuff, but it, it can certainly make your world fun and, and who has to sweat all the time? Okay, here we are now working with some more floral designs, but these are using the one inch circle punch. Yes, you can see. Okay, so basically same concept. I used a different center punch and we played with some jelly pens and torn book pages and some gauze. So let's try one of these pups. Okay, let me just bring it a little closer so you can see. Okay, nothing fancy. No rocket science here. It's just what I call one of the awe pages, A-W-E, like you're just looking at it, you flip the page and you're like, oh, isn't that cute, aw, and then you carry on. <laughs> and then maybe you want some journal pages so they can write, you know, a few journal pages, but then maybe an awe page, and this is for inspiration, to give the person some trigger points, some ideas, some inspiration, some jumping off pages, some launch ideas. Okay. So let's make those and basically the same concept. This time we're going to be using the one inch circle punch, a great little standard. If you can't um, afford 101 punches, I would recommend getting the one inch circle punch if you can't get anything else because you can do a lot with the one inch circle punch. Okay, so here I have this, just a piece of uh, scrapbook paper, medium thickness, um, one sided because we're only going to be seeing one side. So I'm going to do five, one, two, three, four, oh, I'm, so, I'm like a professional now, uh, five, and then five more, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've got ten total. Oh, I had three flowers. I had two and a half actually, so let me, let me do five, let me do three more. One, two, three, because there was a half flower on there, and I'll show you how to do the, the half flower. Regluing my did I show you that was art glitter glue okay if I didn't there you go all my links to my favorite tools and supplies are down below each video in the drop down description box where it says show more if you're on your computer or look for the little gold uh, arrow pointing down below your uh, video on the Samsung phone or the word I think more uh, below the video on your iPhone and um, click on that and that'll open up the description box. If you can't find it, let me know. <laughs> and um, what else, what else, what else? Okay, so now we need a center for these flowers. And what I decided to do was I, I pulled out this fancy. <clears throat> Can you see that? It's a real fancy. This came in a, in a scrap a grab bag somewhere. Wasn't even sure if it worked, but actually it works pretty good. Uh, lucked out on that baby. And then I also have, I, I think these three came in a set if I remember correctly. So this is one inch, half inch, I guess quarter inch maybe. And uh, does it say? No, that would be way too handy. Um, no, it doesn't say. So anyway, 
but I'm going to use the small one. And you could also use a regular paper punch, you know, the little circle punches that we have. Um, this is about the size of a pencil eraser or maybe just a smidge bigger. And I already have some of these stamped out, but let me, let me show you what I did. Okay, so this is what I did. I just looked for areas that had um, no lines on it. So that's how I came up with this area, but it doesn't matter really. I'm just gonna cut that off so I can get to the no lined area. And we, let's see, we only need a few. Um, oh, this might be too small now. I'll try, oh no, we're okay. One, two, three. Okay, and I still have some, some little small ones from before using this little guy. If I wanted some of these, I don't know how I'm going to design it yet, so I'm just going to punch out a bunch of these so I have them ready to go. It's almost like confetti. Making confetti. We're having a party. That would be fun. We need a party right now. This is kind of cool, isn't it? That'd be cool on top of a page. Let's save that. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so now I think I'm going to ink these in pink as well. Worn lipstick, Distress Oxide. All right, who moved my inker? There it is, underneath my scissors. All right, I'll just be going around the mountain when we, oh, this is more like going around the pond. These are small, but I like the way the pink looks against this beige, cream, vanilla, honey color, just pretty. It's just really pretty. And um, what else can I tell you? Oh, if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, go for it because why? Why should I be bothered with your newsletter, Pam? Well, if you like to get digital images, you'll get one uh, per month in the newsletter. Plus you also get a uh, cool tip uh, on journal making and also uh, any updates coming from the paper outpost. So for example, if I have new digi kits coming out, you'll hear about it. Or if I have journals coming up for sale, you'll hear about it. And uh, the, email, or the uh, newsletter is free. There's no charge for it. And uh, the link again is below in the description box. Oh, the lawn guy is here. How fun is that? Hi, lawn guy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, lawn guy, for cutting the grass. Oh, are you my lawn guy? I don't know. He might be the neighbor's lawn guy. We'll see. Okay, he's gone down the side of the house. Yay. Thank you, Mr. Lawn Guy. Uh, in these days, I should really be getting my own tukas out there and lawning myself, but um, right now, better stay inside. Yeah, it's really hot outside. Yeah, super hot. Um, Florida here, we went straight from winter to summer. We got like two days of spring, but um, May is can go either way, but mostly May is a warmish month. We usually tell relatives when they used to come and visit um, to come in May because that's a really pretty time of the year. And um, yeah, now we just zoom. <laughs> okay, so let's try some more flowers. Let's go for, let's see, we have that one there, that one there. I don't know where that other flower thing is. Oh, maybe we could use this page. That's kind of pretty and maybe do a little flower thing. This is actually a um, tracing paper, coffee dyed page that I did some stamping on but who says we have to stop there nobody in this house no okay so let's have some fun um let's same basic concept getting our art glitter glue out again with the awesome little metal tip that makes life so much easier okay why why you ask because it only distributes a little amount of glue and uh so what what do i know about this glue this glue I've heard, I haven't had this problem myself, but some people say they don't ship it in the winter months because it does not ship well in the cold. I mean, whoops, sorry. Meaning something, something goes wrong with it. So, um, but I haven't had that experience, but then again, I tend to buy in bulk. Um, so I don't order it all that often. So maybe I just happen to order it in, in the summer or something like that. And uh, I think I'm on my second round of ordering this glue and uh, I think it said a lifespan or something of a year, but I know I have some that's longer than a year and it's just fine. So I'm just saying, yeah, well, that's pretty rough as well. We're gonna cover you up. All right, so now we're just gonna do this. Where are we with time? Oh, 19, over, oh, okay. Oh, one of these days I will get a camera or something where I can do longer, longer sessions. Uh, but right now this is good. We're going, we don't need all those extras, Pam. Don't be silly. All right. Now, you are going to come with me because you're really pretty. Yeah, and you've got that little rose on you. So here we have our base. Okay. And now we're going to put our center. And let's do a, this shape center. 
and uh, let's brown it up a bit. Okay, I had this all organized this morning. Come over here. Green on green, pink on pink, word pinko. Here's pink. There's the brown. I see it. Should I do brown on the pink? Well, it's already pink, so I might as well go brown. Okay. So it'll help it just show up just a little bit more. Okay, so now I have enough glue here. All right, so now I'm going to do that. I could have done a cream one. Maybe that would have shown up better, but I think this is still pretty. And I'm not going to do my basement layer because I'm going to be mounting the whole thing to the page, glued down completely. So this is going to be my basement layer. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple more of these. We'll be off to the races. Yep. I don't know who we're in the races today, but we're off to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good old crafty fun here. Never a dull moment. <laughs> um, I like getting lost in the papers. You like getting lost in the papers? Yeah, time flies. Do you ever notice that? Time flies when you're crafting. Oh my gosh. Next thing you know, somebody's bugging you for, hey, it's time for to, 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 like, go to get make dinner, or, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> go, you know, time to do the laundry, time for this, time for that. And uh, I'm like, no, not right now. I'm, I'm in my groove. I'm in my crafty groove. Oh, don't, don't mess with my mojo. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we do have these other responsibilities that we must attend to. Darn family. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, you know, hey, you know, bless your souls that have kids and all that out there that, you, you know, you've got to attend to things and, and do stuff. You can't just like, hey, hey, you know, you're on your own. You're on your own, kid. Just, just feed yourself. You know where the food is. Um, although, that would be good training. <laughs> I always find that the hungry will find a way to eat. You ever notice that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it may not be the best quality food, but they will find a way. Okay, so I thought this flower might look like it's just coming in onto the page. All right, that's it. We're out of, we're out of thingies. So you're going to be there, and I need maybe one of these. Okay, let's just brown it up. We'll just brown it up this way. Okay, there we go. Make it super brown, super brown. More contrast. Near, near. Okay. There's my little halfer. And we'll stick you there. Yeah. All right. Oh, look, we got a little glue eruption here. All right. Close you up. You're doing the same thing Fabri-Tac does. Okay. Let's see. I am. I guess you could add water. The only thing is when you add water or solvent or anything to these glues, like you might add acetone to the Fabrifix to thin it up or um, water to this kind of glue. The problem is it, obviously it dilutes your glue and it, um, it weakens the, like the, the overall strength of the glue will still be there if given long enough to dry, but it may take a little bit longer to dry. So there we go. Okay, I think I like that. All right, so since we have all this hanging around, Let's just use it. Yeah. At least not want not, right? Oh, let's pull that baby out again. Okay, putting it on the magnet. Okay, if you haven't seen that before, that's the, the magnet on the side of the glue bottle so that you can find the pin. So you don't spend 20 minutes trying to find the pin, which has been my life. <laughs> okay. So now I have you can either leave it hanging off like it's a little mystery, or you can trim it like flush with the page. Let's see if I can cut straight. Okay. And uh, it kind of looks like the flower was coming, you know, it's, it's um, across the page a little bit. Oh, these are so pretty. I love these flowers. Um, um, oh, the, oh, the pride. <laughs> I do. I like the flowers. Um, okay, there. And there was one down here. Now, okay, here. All right. So now I want to maybe design them a little differently. Let's see. I had a, yep, here we go. Oops. Okay, so here's my bucket. Oh, pens, markers, jelly pens, all sorts of crazy stuff. The jelly pen seems to work well here because it doesn't go through the paper unless I, it goes through um, craft paper. I don't know, but we're going to try. What color is this? Metallic jelly roll has a sparkle cap. Well, let's see what it does. All right, let's just do a little, little test here. Testing. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, you see that? Okay, hope so. All right, so now we're going to do some stems. Now, the other one I did a stem around this way, but let's try the stem this way. Shoom! Oh, that was a bit of a bump, wasn't it? Shoom! Okay. 
that's okay. And we'll do you here. Oh, don't skip on me, mister. This is your big demo moment. We need more glue there. Okay, that's all right. Okay, are you right off the page? Whoop. Would be probably helpful if you stuck something like this under your page. That's right. Oh, I can't draw a straight line. Okay, okay, so what I'm learning <laughs> on the fly, yet again, is that uh, sometimes this doesn't write that well on tracing paper, but it grabs really well on regular paper. I'm just going to kind of scratch it in there. There. Okay, so what can I do? Oh, I have an idea. All right, hang on. Maybe Do we have time? Let me see. Oh, yeah, we got time. All right, okay, so I'm just going to grab some El Cheapo. These are my El Cheapo watercolors. Okay. And this is what you do. You don't have time to go get water. You always have your handy dandy spritzer bottle and then you just kind of spritz them and then everybody's ready to play instantly. Of course, now you'd have to have a paintbrush, which I don't have at the ready. So I'm gonna have to grab something else. What do I have? I have, uh, I got this. I could try this. All right, let me try this. I'm gonna try some pink leaves. Pink, pink leaves? Okay. Well, why not? All right, so. All right, just putting on some leaves here. Oh, maybe do some le oop, leaves at the bottom. Okay. Looking kind of weird, but kind of cute in its own way. All right. All right, so just some little ones near the, like those little, anybody know what they're called? Sepals? I think somebody told me they were called sepals. That, that rings a little sepaly bell. Yeah, and maybe I wanna zone in around the edges because that that is kind of pretty. Oh, look, see, you can, you can play really fast with uh, watercolor. You don't always have to be ink. No, 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 no. And this stuff is way cheaper than ink. Yeah, you get all the colors in one El Cheapo tray. And uh, you can buy these at all the art stores. They all have some cheapo version of watercolor and that works great. Um, okay, so we have some of that. Okay, all right. Now, well, you come back here. All right, so what I think would work well on here is some pencil. A kingdom for a pencil. Where are you? Here you are. Yeah, pencil. Oh, come here. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around the outsides of these and just empha edge them. Yeah, this is regular pencil. It's not Stabilo because I'm not going to add water to this. I'm just delineating. Now, anywhere you have glue, it'll the pencil won't right over the glue, but it will right over tracing paper. And it's not going to skip other than where the glue is. And here comes my lawn guy, right on target. Hello, lawn guy. Thank you for your service. We do appreciate you. And, um, it, you know, I'm glad I don't have to go out there and cut the grass. But, um, <laughs> um, yeah, when we first moved in, my husband wanted to go get a lawnmower, and I don't know what I was thinking, but I talked him out of it, and I should have—I should have left him. I should have let him do it because I think it would have been good exercise for him. But uh, well, I'm right, kidding. It would have been a good exercise for me too. Um, but uh, it's really hot here in Florida. Sometimes it's hard to cut the grass. You know, bless their souls out there cutting the grass. Um, okay, here we go. There. All right, so we have a little emphasis. Maybe I'm just going to slightly follow my lines so I have a little bit more of a delineation as to what on earth is going on here in this cataclysm of randomness. And maybe I'm just gonna follow the edges, suggestions of the leaves, just for fun. I don't know if this makes any sense for any reason, but just doing it. And uh, I'm gonna explore sepals. I like my sepals. Never met a sepal I didn't like. I think fourzies maybe on this one. Okay, there we go. 
All right, so the other thing we can I can you even see what I'm doing? Let me show you. Very basic, very one liney stuff, very easy, simple tools, one inch paper punch. Okay, and then I use just a clump of words and some. Oh, look at that, I got some leftover gauze. I'll use it. Okay, let's use it. All right, well, let's put some gauze here. All right, that's good. Such a messy crafter. Oh, well. All right. That's a good thing. Yeah. All right. Now, let's find some words. All right. I'm diving deep into my... What do I got? Diving deep into my uh, craft scrap box. Okay. This must be from a bird book. Gulls make a great variety of loud, penetrating noises. Nor nasal... No, we don't want that. Um... <laughs> In medieval falconry, it was reserved for kings. Okay, we'll take that. That's better. Hey, nothing wrong with a little medieval falconry. I've been uh, very interested in um, all this Viking and medieval shows and everything. They're a lot of fun. I, I just, I just, you know, I don't know these old times. They just get me. I just, I just love, 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 love it. Okay, I'm inking around with pink. Oh, what time is it? Oh, okay, we're only wrapping it up here soon. Okay, remember you can find the Facebook group, lots of fun, doing weekly and monthly challenges. You're welcome to lurk or come and play full out. Um, uh, we do lots of stuff with uh, journals. Uh, we answer journal questions. Everybody's super friendly. Come on out and check us out. It's free to join. You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Facebook, and my podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I'm gonna put this one on angle just because I'm feeling very devilish today. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that looks very different than the other one. <laughs> and, uh, but I think it's a very fun way to do a page layout. So you got double page layouts today. How about that? Very fun, very simple. The AWE page, A-W-E. And uh, my playlists, I think I explained already. Oh, my digital kits, if you wanna check out digital kits, I've got um, oh, 35 or so in there now, maybe more and maybe more by the time this video airs. But um, there are, I added mushrooms and tickets and eco dyed leaves and Victorian people. And there's one I can't think of. What is it? Um, somebody tell me. <laughs> I can't think of it. Mushrooms, tickets, eco people. Um, no, oh, yes, it'll come to me. Anyway, um, there you go. I hope you like that. That's is the Dunsey. And then our other Dunsey. No, oh, I gotta start stop talking. Here's our double floral side tuck. Near, near, near. And I'll give you a demo. Oh yeah, here comes full throttle. Must be my long guy. Okay, everybody. There you go. I hope you had fun. Fun can be simple, remember that? And create with reckless abandon. Can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye.